Hey YouTube, Parson Rick here again. Smoking a Barracini pocket pipe with some mixture 79 that Adrian uh, Blend Recommender gifted to us. It's a licorice blend. I like it. Thank you, Adrian. So, um, just setting up the next few videos here. Spent the last three days, uh, our club was asked to do security and taking the money and stuff like that for the Evergreen Tattoo Convention here in town. Uh, it's a big uh, in, invitational. Uh, the tattoo artists are invited. They were from New York to Texas. California all over the place and uh, pretty interesting some really nice work there those of you that got ink on you uh, well, it was the place to be that's for sure uh, but not if you wanted to get a tattoo uh, they were so busy uh, uh, you know doing like eight hour projects ten hour projects uh, they just like they were all tired. They had to work eight hours a day, just like a real job, I guess. Anyway, so it was fun. And uh, last year we put on an event and had a tattoo contest. And one of the judges is a local artist named uh, Susan Tattoozen with the uh, Whitaker uh, Tattoo Cooperative. And uh, I was talking to her and watching her do some work. And she was doing some cover-up work on a, a young lady and they graciously allowed me to to film them uh, they didn't get done so in at some future point when they get done they're gonna have me come over and I'll take a little video and post it up so you can see what happened but the process is pretty interesting and for those of you who don't have any any artwork on you uh, you know I'm old and when I got mine, uh, I like to say the only three, three types of people got tattoos, convicts, bikers, and military. And I qualified. So we did it. My son reminded me that circus freaks and carnival people also. So, but now, you know, it's just such, you know, kids there that are 18 years and one day are getting tattooed and Covering up all that clean, fresh skin. Yeah, but it was interesting. It was a lot of fun. I got, I got a one. I got a, a ring. I can't wear a wedding ring because I'm an electrician and gold likes electricity. So I'd always kind of wanted to, to get something. And of course, K. That's my last initial, and it's also my wife's first initial. Uh, couldn't put all of her initials on there, but I did. Her initials are all K. That's right. K, K, K. So, that can be fun. And, uh, so I, I decided I'll just do that. I'll put a K on there and, uh, this way. I put it this way because I'm the one looking at it most of the time. And if I was looking at it upside down, it'd just drive me nuts. So. So I put it on this way, pour moi, okay. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna hear about it. So, uh, and if she ever leaves me, it's still my last initial. I'm still good. So, finger tattoos uh, fade really quickly, so I'm not really committed to it, I don't think. When I, yeah, they're they're making appointments for next year. If you had, big work done this year it's because you made a point an appointment a year ago and but you get to see a lot of people you get to compare a lot of work and uh it was really really interesting uh it's changed just so much i mean when i had uh when i started way back when i was in the service i had a lot of scars on my hand both hands from motorcycle wrecks and uh I wanted to get them covered up with tattoos, you know, doing all my best 25-year-old thinking. 
And the guy that was doing it, of course, at that time, an old biker about twice my size, he said he wouldn't do it. He said, you don't do below the wrist or above the collarbone because those are prison tattoos and you'll never get a job. Of course, I'm in there now with people and they've got their whole faces are tattooed and their hands are just a matter of course. But fingers are really hard to do. And, and I had a hard time finding a guy uh, to do this for me today. And he, and he did it for a very reasonable price. I was happy. My local guys that do most of our work here, uh, they, they won't do fingers. But it's just changed a lot. So as you, as you watch this, when I get them all spliced in there, I hope you find it interesting. If not, turn it off. So, Parson Rick out. God bless you. Hey, you two, Parson Rick here at the Evergreen Tattoo uh, Convention. I'm here with Susan Tattoozin from Whitaker Tattoo Collective. She's helped us before on uh, some of the uh, Clean and Sober events, doing the stuff for the candle lighters. She's going to be doing a little cover-up work here. She's already started. Apparently, this poor young child had a lumberjack lady on her leg. <laughs> And uh, having grown a little bit, she's decided to cover it up. We've got a real nice rose picture. coming up here. Can, uh, show that picture, if you like. Here's what it'll look like. Uh, did you draw this up prehensile? Mm -hmm. So Susan did. She nodded in the affirmative. <laughs> so she's already started on it. They took a. Sorry for the shaking. They took a little bit of a break, and uh, now they're going to get back at it. So Christine's showing us her work. Susan, this one's Eric. by Eric, my partner. That's a That is worm? the worm from Labyrinth, the movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Yeah, and then Eric did a peacock as a cover-up. I don't remember what was down there. Some Nazi flag or something. <laughs> More cover-up. <laughs> cool. So yeah, we're getting everything off ready for her. <laughs> I'd be down to get the talking doorbell. Yeah? I love those guys. <laughs> yeah, Christine's being nice enough to let us film her. I'm going to get him right on my knocker. Uh, there you go. Your yeah. And I get a little Done with the rose now? Uh, I'll go back over to look, you know, at the end, I'll do any kind of little touch ups. So I'm moving on from it. Looks very nice. Thank you.